Hey guys, just going to do a, um, a video to set your tail up. Um, I'm just using my V450 uh, wheel Kira uh, D03. As you see, I've actually um, pulled it all apart because uh, I actually did have a fair bit of wear and tear in my um, uh, tail control rocker arm, um, which is this little unit here, and also in my um, tail rotor rotor head. With this uh, tail rotor head here, you can actually see where the ball screwed in. That actually clips into the bottom of that unit there. Okay, um, I broke it off, didn't I? So they're fairly fragile little parts. Now that's Loctited in there. You can use a soldering iron on there to heat up the the outside there, and that actually just softens up the Loctite that's actually in there. So you'll be able to get it in and out all right. Um, and the other thing that I broke too was this little unit here. Now that's supposed to have some threads on the end of it. Okay, and that actually goes inside that, and that actually slides on your arm and my tail tail assembly and the threads actually protrude past past those little bearings in there and actually screws onto that okay but when I was actually undoing it the threads broke off inside there all right so um, I was actually just going to pull this apart just to see what bits and pieces I needed then I actually looked them up uh, and found that they actually do come in do come as a complete unit so that's that's fine there you can see that little I'll get the light off it there you can see that little uh, brass brass unit there with the threads on it and then you've got the other the other rocker pieces which actually go onto your um, blade grip holders for your tail all right and this is just a, just a genuine wheel gear apart there okay so I suggest that um, you actually buy these parts uh, before you pull it apart because you can you can break them so and the other part there is the um, uh, the control rocker which is that unit there alright so as you can see with the old parts that I've actually pulled apart I'll take that out for now you can actually see a fair bit of wear that that actually has got on it there you can see the little lip on the top there the top of it up here and the big flat section that it's got there too so that's not actually supposed to be in there uh, where this rocker arm goes on obviously there's a ball that I've actually broken off but that actually just slides in the top there okay and you get a, a lot of movement now you'll notice that this actually worn the steel away more than it actually has worn the uh, this plastic item away here so um, but if you replace the parts if you replace this uh, that that section there, tail rotor head. Um, it's a good idea to just just get another one of these as well. Control rocker kit too. Okay. Um, now on the tail itself, you can actually see my uh, main shaft here. The the tail shaft has actually got a lot of a lot of wear in it. All right. And this can cause a lot of vibrations in your helicopter as well. So if I spin my helicopter, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's slightly you might be able to see it there it's slightly bent it just moves back and forth just a little bit now I don't know why that is it's probably just cheap uh, cheap material that it's actually made of um, but you can see all the all the wear and tear items in there the little groove I've got there um, if I can spin it around you can see another little I just use the corner of my blade here another little section just in there all right that's it's got like a little little piece that's worn on that shaft there so it's a good idea just to um, just to get a shaft as well all right so that's the tail rotor shaft and that's what you get is that one little piece there but yeah anyway we'll um, continue on so what I'll do is I'll pull this apart here on one of my other videos I'll show you actually how to replace the tail belt in this uh, in this particular helicopter so if you need to replace that you can go and watch that video um, but at this stage here I'll um, start pulling apart my uh, my tail here just to replace this um, rotor shaft here so I'll go ahead and do that so basically I'll undo these two here take this fin off and then I'll take all all these off here all right just pulling the last uh, screw out here okay that over there now we'll just pull this two side casings off here all right that one side will come off 
Okay, it's got your bearing inside there, and you've got your little roller, here, little belt tensioner, and you pull this side off in there as well. Now don't twist that belt, leave it as it is. Okay, now I've left that little screw in there, because uh, on the other side here there's a little indentation where the point of that screw sits in there, and that actually dislocates where that actually sits. Alright, so that's, that's quite easy to... Um, all disassemble there now that shaft will just slide straight out of that uh, bearing there all right so I'll sit that aside and grab grab my new one all right so and we'll slip it all back together now the half you need is the one with the little leg here so that will just go straight into straight into there remember not to turn your belt put that onto there Okay, you can you can just feel that clip into spot like that. Okay, put our little roller back in. Rollers back in there. Set that back into spot. Okay, and there you have it. All right. Now you can go ahead and. Uh, Put all your screws and everything back in. Okay, I've got my uh, tail back together there. Um, now we'll just check our little roller bearing here with this screw here. Um, just make sure that that's not over tight and you uh, clamp that little roller up there which actually runs on your belt. Okay, so just I'm just actually spinning my spinning my blades around there now and I've just got my thumb on that, or my finger on that I should say, and just to make sure that that roller is is spinning there so it's as you can see there it's spinning so it's pretty good so the next thing we'll get on with is assemble up we can actually assemble up all this stuff here to our to our tail rotor head I'll just grab my tail rotor head remove the two two bolts that hold these two arms on here so I'll go ahead and I'll do that I've got a bit of Loctite on these, so they're actually uh, screwed onto the metal parts there. If you've got screws that actually screw into any metal parts, it's a good idea to use Loctite. Plastic parts don't need Loctite. That's uh, the old assembly. Okay, that had the broken piece inside there. So I'll just put that to the side. Alright, so as you look here, you make sure that you actually set this section up correctly as you can see here with my blades this is the leading edge of the blade and this is the trailing edge of the blade okay the leading edge has this little section here following the leading edge of the blade okay now this can be assembled wrong all right as I'll show you I've actually purposely assembled my old tail blades the incorrect way just to show you Alright, so I'll just leave them down there for now and grab my original original blades. As you see here, I've actually assembled these back to front. Alright, so don't copy this. We'll be using these ones, okay? As you can see, this is my leading edge here of my blades. And my trailing edge here, alright? Now, as you see here, and my finger's tapping there, that there is actually, see the blades are still look the same, okay, but this control link here is up the top, not down the bottom, alright, now if your tail looks like this, all you'll have to do, undo the screw here, pull your blade out and actually turn it around, so your leading edge of your blade lines up, lines up with this, so this is, this is the correct way. All right, leading edge, the adjustment there, same thing here, leading edge, oops, and your adjustment there on my thumb. All right, so this is the one we'll be using. Okay, we'll grab our uh, next little component, which is this, this unit here, okay. So I can focus my camera a little bit on that part there. All right, you'll see this side here, a little tapered section little tapered section in there and you'll see on the other side is where the um, threads actually screw into so we'll be working from this side 
okay um, and then you've got these little arms here that actually go to your blade grips on your tail okay now these little pieces here you'll see that one side on the on the big eyelet side of it you'll see on that side there is just flat and on the other side you'll see it's got a slight taper in there but that slight taper section will actually house these little spaces in there so that actually goes in that side okay so that little little lip there sits over the tapered side of it okay and that's the side that your screw goes into okay that's for your tail grips you've got to make sure you get that around the right way okay uh, now the small eyelet that does have you know, little parts a little tiny it has another little spacer and that goes in the small eye section okay so it sits in like that all right so now when we go to assemble it onto this you're going to make sure you get that around the right way okay this section at the top actually turns it around it actually goes in that way okay with a small eyelet goes in there okay then I'll just grab the small the small screw that's got a little tapered head on it okay it'll actually go into there okay so I'll screw that one in all right and then um, I'll go ahead and I'll assemble the bottom piece. All right. All right. I've got these assembled up. Okay. Just remember the steel sleeve. This washered section of the sleeve goes onto the tapered side of this this eyelet. Okay. And this eyelet, the tapered side is on this side. All right. So you just got to remember that. So now we can go ahead and put our blades back on here. So that there. See this top one here, the screw will go onto there, screw into there, okay, from that side. Now I've got little black screws that go into there, so they'll actually go from that side into that side, okay. Alright, now I'm going to put a little washer on there that comes with the uh, so-called repair kit as well. So you can stick a new washer on. Um, if you're using the old blade setup or the, the original blade setup that uh, comes with the helicopter, you will be actually using these screws because they're actually um, like a self-tapper screw when it actually goes into plastic okay but as with these with these screws I actually go into uh, a metal component here which will have to be loctited but you don't have to loctite this section in because you'll be screwing it into plastic if you've got the original wheel gearer set up okay so basically I've got my little washer and everything on my bolt put that straight in through that hole there and I can go and assemble that okay I've assembled all this up now so I'll focus my camera again as you can see here this is all this is all neatly assembled up and everything moves nice and free I've loctited my um, my bolts into my aluminium housing there um, forgot to tell you before but I actually just use this blue medium strength Loctite so alright so that's all nice and free everything moves free there's no tight patches or anything in it so we'll go on to our, on to our next step alright so here's our new component here alright I've actually screwed my um, ball in there and I've just Loctited it in so we'll go ahead and we'll stick this sleeve in in there now that can go on any side doesn't, doesn't really matter what side that goes in okay and you can assemble that straight onto there if you like now you just got to remember I'll actually take this off just to show you that actually screws on there I should have told you earlier but this is actually a left hand thread okay so it actually screws on that way alright so I'll go ahead and I'll a um, little bit of Loctite on this here and I'll uh, screw it onto my blade holder here okay actually screws on so I'll go ahead and I'll uh, tighten that up it's got two little flat surfaces on here so if you've got a little spanner or something that you can, will fit onto there or gently with a pair of pliers you can actually do it up okay it doesn't have to be over tight just has to be firm up against this this component here okay so just don't forget 
to put some Loctite on it, okay? Then don't squash that too hard because you can actually squash that and then it won't actually slide up and down your shaft. All right, so I'll go ahead and assemble that up. Okay, we're back with all this assembled up nicely here. All right, so that all actually spins up nice. That's nice and firm in there, being Loctite onto my arm there. All right, so I'll just turn this helicopter around here so you can see okay and then that will slide basically straight onto there if I get all my arms my other bits and pieces around the right way here okay that actually all slides straight back onto there all right now when you go to put your blades back on your shaft all right you can just have that shaft just sitting just sitting out a little bit or flush it doesn't really matter we'll set it up later uh, but if I push it right in and I'll bring the helicopter a little bit further forward and focus the camera you'll actually see, see there's a little indentation just in the shaft here okay so that's actually where the uh, little grub screw which you see here will actually go and sit in between that indentation alright now I've just assembled the um, tail onto my uh, rear shaft here so I've applied Loctite to that little that little uh, grub screw here that locks itself onto the shaft onto that little indentation there I showed you before so everything is all all nice and free here you can actually operate it where the, where the ball is you can grab the ball and just move it backwards and forwards to make sure there's no no resistance there whatsoever it all moves nice and free okay so now we'll go to our next step here which is this um, control link here all right now in the packet one of the bearings fell out that one's in there okay so I don't, if I can pick it up it's that small you can see a little little spacer I'll actually go in there all right I don't know if you can see it in there or not but if not you can use your um, retaining bolt there there we are now it's in there okay and the bearing that fell out, put your bearing over the top of your little bolt that you've got there, okay, and just press it into spot. Alright, and there you have it. Okay, so you can take your bolt out now, and you can assemble this to the helicopter if you like. So basically what we'll do, if you can actually, actually see it there, you can actually uh, clip your little ball into spot there, and then this top section here will slide into that uh, little groove at the top there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll uh, clip that together. Okay, as you can see, I've got my um, uh, slider in place there now. It's all clipped in just to make sure it's all running free. Uh, you might find it's a little tight on this, uh, this ball here, but it's not so bad. All right, mine's not too bad there. Okay. This tucks under there, just make sure you don't lose your bearings while you're fiddling around trying to clip this on because it can be quite tricky to, to clip that section on there. Alright, so now we've got our uh, little ball link here and that can actually be uh, screwed in position here now. Alright, so that actually gets screwed onto there. Okay, that's got my little ball screwed on there now. Alright, so now what we'll do is we can, uh, just to make sure both bearings are in that section there yes they are they haven't fallen out on me you put your retainer bolt in there all right and we can swing the helicopter around so you can see what's going on on the other side here and we can actually screw that back up into spot in there now you don't over tighten this here okay because you can squash all the bearings up and make it very uh, tight to operate and if you move that ball there back and forth and it feels free. I've just actually pushed my servo rod further forward so I can actually just move that quite freely without interfering with that uh, ball link there too much. Nice and free, no tight patches in it. Um, another little way you can do it too is get your thumb on it there to move it and you can actually rotate it and use a slider back and forth just with your thumb to make sure there's no tight patches in there. Okay, so give that a quick test and that's that is all okay so everything is all fine now if you want to it'll also lubricate that up a little bit too 
just with a drop or two of oil and um, it'll be all okay. Clip your rod onto your ball, all right, and then we'll go ahead and we'll um, bind the helicopter up and set the tail up. Okay guys, I've uh, bound my helicopter up to my transmitter, so as you can see all this is operational now. Um, now one thing to look for is, we'll go through and have a look here, um, on the rear of your tail, just to make sure that this here is in the centre of your um, rear tail shaft. Also check that your servo horn is actually in the centre, now I've just got as you can see, my servo horn is moving there a little bit because it's actually uh, just the gyro, gyro moving. But with my throttle stick right down, when I um, sit the helicopter still and move my sticks back and forth, uh, that will actually centre. All right. Um, I've actually just loosened these two off just to show you how to set up your tail. Okay, so I've loosened those two, two clamps off at the back. Now, if you get your tail and you bend it towards you, so I can actually twist my tail backwards and forwards like this and let it go and you can see it actually comes back to centre. Alright, so you can actually straighten them out, turn it around, bring them back the other way just to check the other side as well and you'll see that they uh, come back to centre there. Alright, it's a little bit out. You can fiddle around with your uh, servo and everything like that just to bring it back and forth on the uh, tail boom to get that exactly right. But once you've got that set up exactly right, well, your helicopter's pretty much right to go. All right, so that's the basic setup of that, um, of your tail. Um, and then make sure that you uh, just look down, look down the rear of your helicopter this way where my finger's pointing, um, and just to make sure that all this arm along here right up towards your servo, all that there, all the way up to there is in a nice straight line, okay? because uh, when you adjust your servo you can actually uh, move it that way and also you can move it backwards and forwards so if it moves that way or that way it's going to pull the alignment out of this rod so just adjust that up so it's nice and straight um, and then you'll have no worries so that's pretty much it guys